Mulan. Once upon a time in Han, China, lived Fa Chao. He was warrior with the Imperial Army. He had a beautiful daughter named Mulan. Mulan loved her father's armor. She always wore it and admired herself in the mirror. Oh, Mulan, what are you doing? Father, why can't I be a warrior like you? Because women are not allowed to fight the battle, my child. They can get hurt. They have to take care of the house. But women can be as good as men in the battleground. Yes, my child. But the general will never allow a woman in the war. One day, the emperor of Han China learned that the Huns were going to attack the army. The Huns were led by the very cruel Shan Yu, who wanted to grab their land. Our army is not big enough. I want at least one member from each family to fight this war. The more, the better. Soon, the word spread, and one member from each family was sent to the mountains to train under the general. But back at Mulan's house, something unexpected happened. <coughs> uh, I have to go. These are emperor's orders. But you are not well. How will you fight the war? Doesn't matter. My country and my people need me. I will leave tomorrow. No, the father is so ill. These are tricky mountains. He is in no shape to even make it to the general. My country is in danger, but I can't let my father do this. Mulan was not going to give up. I know what I have to do. I will go to train in the mountains. I will fight for my country and destroy the Huns. I, I am sorry, Father. I know you will be furious in the morning, but I can't lose you, and neither can I see my country be defeated. Forgive me for not listening to you, Father, but I have to fight this war. As a man, so that is what I will do. And thus, the mighty Mulan set off towards the general of the Imperial Army. She knew women are not allowed to battle, but she also knew that her love for her country and her father came from her heart. Right now, she didn't care if she were a man or a woman. She was a warrior. You said your name is Cheng. Is that correct? How are your battle skills? Uh, yes, General Chang. It is. My combat skills may not be as sharp as the highly skilled warriors here, but, but believe me, I will not give you a chance to complain. I like your passion, Chang. We will start your training tomorrow. Mulan was determined, strong, and willful. She trained hard to sharpen her sword skills. She was a quick learner. When everyone else rested, she practiced her skills. Mulan was quickly accepted in the army as a man. Her fellow warriors loved her confidence and passion for her country. But there was somebody else who was also impressed by Mulan's training. It was the guardian dragon Mushu. Mushu was sent to help Mulan by her ancestors. When Mulan left her house back in the mountains. Her mother had seen her leave. Frightened, she immediately prayed to their ancestors. Oh, save us! Protect my daughter! Don't worry. She is a brave child. She has a heart of gold. Mushu is a guardian dragon. He will watch over Mulan. And that's how Mushu always watched over Mulan. Mulan didn't even know she had a guardian dragon, but Mushu never let her out of his sight. Ah, uh, look how talented she is! She deserves a chance to prove her skills. Mushu decided to write a fake letter ordering Li Shan to march towards the mountains. The Huns have attacked the city. We are ordered to march towards the mountains and destroy the rest of their clans. The troops marched through the mountains, but little they knew that this was a big mistake. 
The Huns had not attacked the city. They were all hiding in the mountain, hoping for the Imperial Army to make one mistake. The Huns attacked the Imperial Army. They were very less in numbers compared to the Huns. They fought and fought, but it was of no use. Suddenly, wait, I have an idea. Mulan took the last cannon and shot it in between the mountains. It brought the snow down, and soon the Huns were buried under the snow. Yay! Yay! We won! Woohoo! Yay! Yeah! We won! Yay! Yeah! We won! But the cannon had injured Mulan too. She collapsed on the ground. Everybody gathered around. As a warrior tried to pick her up, her helmet came off and her long, lustrous hair was now blowing in the air. Oh, I didn't know Chang had such long hair. Oh, my helmet! Where's my helmet? What happened to your voice, Chang? Did you hurt your throat? Wait, you are not Chang. You are not a man. You are a woman. Tell me, who are you? Oh, I am so sorry, General. I am not your enemy. I am Fa Mulan, daughter of Fa Shao. My father was ill, and I don't want him to injure himself further. I love my country, but women are not allowed to battle. I disguised myself as a man so that I could fight in the war. I didn't mean any wrong. But something wrong has happened. You cheated us. I will spare your life because you helped in defeating the Huns, but you can't fight anymore. Go back to your village this instant and never come back. Mulan was completely broken. Mushu also followed Mulan. On her way through the mountains, Mulan heard some strange voices. As she followed those voices, Oh no! The Huns! They're still alive! No! They are marching towards the city! I must warn the general! Mulan ran towards Li Shan. General! General! <sighs> you? How dare you come back? General! The Huns are alive! They are marching towards the city! Our emperor is in danger! I have no reason to trust you anymore! Leave! No! But please! What do I do now? No! I will not accept defeat! I have to try! I will save my emperor and my country! Mulan was determined to stop the Huns by herself. She took her horse and left for the city. Meanwhile... Why do I want to trust that Cheng? I mean, Mulan again! But she did save my army, and she did show excellent sword skills. What if she is saying the truth and the Emperor is indeed in danger? I can't let that happen. Not on my watch. I will take my army towards the city right now. And thus, Mulan left to protect her city and the Emperor from the Huns. And so did the Imperial Army. As Mulan entered the city, she saw that some Huns have already crossed the gates. No! This means Shan Yu must have already entered the palace. I must save our emperor. Mulan hurried towards the palace and found that her emperor had already been captured. No! What do I do now? Wait, I have an idea. Oh, the mighty Shan Yu. I am so happy to see you alive. What? What do you mean by that? Nobody can harm me, beautiful young lady. That's what I told him, but he kept laughing and saying that you are nothing compared to him and that you... Wait! Who's he? Cheng! Cheng? Who's Cheng? The warrior from the Imperial Army. The one who buried your soldiers under the snow up in the mountains. Oh, that little man. Yes, yes! He said... Even if you have not died, he will challenge you and defeat you with his own hands. But he doesn't know you are alive. He's on the roof. Why don't you follow me there and attack him first? Hmm, I like that. Soldiers, don't let the Emperor go. Let me see how skilled this Chang is. Shan Yu followed Mulan to the roof. Mulan immediately pushed him from behind and took out her sword from under her clothes. What? Where is that Cheng? 
Why are you holding a sword? Cheng, the one who buried your soldiers under the snow is right in front of you, Shan Yu. How dare you attack my people? I will defeat you right here. <laughs> a woman warrior? Why? Are you afraid because I am a woman? Don't you worry. I will not go easy on you. How dare you? Shan Yu was defeated. Mulan came down the stairs to save her emperor. But to her surprise... General Li Shan! The emperor was already freed by General Li Shan and his army. Everybody came to know that Shan Yu was now gone. The Huns was arrested and put in prison. The people danced and cheered for their victory over the Huns. Han China rejoiced for their brave warrior Fa Mulan. She was presented with the bravery shield of the Imperial Army. Mulan accepted the honor. She thanked the Emperor and returned to her family. Oh Mulan, we are so happy that you are safe. You scared us. Forgive me, father. No, my child. You have made us proud. I am proud of you too. What? Who are you? I am a guardian dragon. I always look after those who have the spirit to prove themselves. You show courage, pure love towards your father and your country. You are a true warrior. You prove that women can do anything if they put their hearts into it. Yes, and I am proud to have a daughter. <laughs>